Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use ChatGPT on your Google search in a very interesting way so that instead of just getting an answer to your query from ChatGPT, you can analyze all the search results that you get on Google for your search query, extract the main topics, find the gap between them like is shown here and then generate an interesting research question that can help you develop the discourse around the search query further. So if you're interested to learn how it works, keep watching and I will demonstrate. First of all, you will need to install the Google uh, Chrome extension from Infranodos, which is available to Infranodos subscribers. And once you have it installed, when you perform a search on Google, it's going to show up on the right here. And if it doesn't show up, you can always activate it by clicking a button at the top right. What it does is that it will analyze the search results for the search query. In this case, it's artificial intelligence, and it's going to extract the main topics and then look at the topics which could be better connected in those search results. And once it identifies those topics, like as shown here, it will generate a research question that can help you bridge those ideas together in an interesting way. Now, you can think of a response to this question. So, for example, in this case, it's uh, how can the reverse engineering of human decision making and problem solving capabilities be integrated into AI technologies, which is an interesting question in relation to AI. So I can think how I can reverse engineer human decision making and human reasoning and integrate it into AI applications, which is kind of uh, like one of the most interesting subjects at the moment. So it's great that it came up with this particular question, question in this demonstration means that it works. Uh, but you can also use the AI to generate an answer to this question. So if you click on ideate here, it's going to send this question back to the AI and then it will come up with an answer uh, that will propose you to think of a possible solution to this problem, right? So for example, here it's saying how it could replicate the functions of human minds and uh, how you can also implement it in specific companies and how you can also use AI to automate certain actions. And in this case, it's using the context of the search query. So the search results, which it found. If you click here, transcend this context and click reload, what's going to happen is that it will try to provide an answer that goes beyond the context of the search results. So here it's kind of like a wider response that covers uh, also other topics and it might be more interesting in this case because instead of using what's already out there we can actually uh, use the whole trove of human knowledge that ChatGPT has access to. By the way I'm saying ChatGPT because in the background we use GPT-4 which powers ChatGPT so it's like you would be sending those requests to ChatGPT but you do this adding the structural information about the content that you're analyzing from Infranodos so this is how they work together in this case. By the way, just to show you the technology behind what happens, like those two topics are actually uh, some of the topics identified using Infranodos here. And if you don't know how Infranodos works, it visualizes content as a knowledge graph, and then it identifies the main topics and looks for the connections between them and generates content in relation to it. So this is how it works in the background. Here, I identified the topics. If I click here, I will see more of them. And then I ask Infranodos to basically generate uh, uh, the two topics that could be better connected and then come up with an interesting research question in relation to those topics. By the way, I can also use this transcend this context here. So in that case, when it comes up with the question, it's just going to use the names of the topics, but it's not going to use the content. So this is also a nice way to expand uh, your understanding of the subject by going beyond uh, what exists on Google for this particular topic. Now, you can also create a summary. So if you click on main topics and then go to summary, then you can summarize all the different search results for this query. Uh, this will give you like a nice explanation of what exists out there on Google for the topic of AI, which can be interesting if you want to understand this topic, but also if you're a marketer, for instance, it can give you uh, a good impression of what is the current informational supply on the market for, for a particular search query. And you can also go into this function here, content Q&A, and actually interact with the search results of Google in the chat mode. So for example, let's say, what technology should I invest into, right? And then what happens here is that Infranodus will extract uh, the most relevant search results for, 
from the AI results for your search query or your question that you specified here. And then it's going to try to give you an answer to that. So here it says that, okay, uh, given there is a strong emphasis on artificial intelligence from different sources and impact on general technology, it says that investing into AI seems promising. Related fields like robotics or cloud computing are also worth considering. And that's a great answer because we know that cloud computing for AI is kind of like a very interesting field at the moment. So it's great because it provided us a, a nice direction to think further. And you see, like, this is the point that I want to make that instead of just searching for something and clicking on the first two or three search results, like the 90% of people do, including myself, now we have this tool that enables us to actually approach the information that we get in a much more critical and interesting way, where we first disassemble it into parts. So these topics are the different parts. Then we see what are the parts that could be better connected. And then we use the AI to generate a question, which means we're not just generating a ready-made response, but rather uh, some kind of idea that can help us think further in the direction of the subject, right? So this is not the AI replacing us, but rather using the AI to augment our thinking, which I think is a much more interesting use case. And then, of course, like once we get this question, we can think how to develop this idea further or ask the AI to help us to develop it with us. Now, you can also reload the gap. So if you click here, show another gap, it's going to reload the gap and generate a new questions. So for example, here it's a connection between technology improvement and continuous advancement and development of tools and machine learning. And here it's talking about the IoT-based framework employing smart machine learning systems for organizational improvement. So that's great. can be a very interesting question to answer as well. By the way, you can send it to the chat itself and then generate a response from Infranodus based on that question by asking it to extract the most relevant parts of the discourse for this topic. Uh, so then you will get an answer here. And finally, if you have your own content that you want to add there, you can just click on add content and copy and paste whatever it is that you're working on and also do the same analysis here. One last thing I want to show is that you can also use this tool to jump to the topic that you're interested in. So let's say if I'm searching for artificial intelligence like I'm doing in this case, and then I see that there is uh, a cluster of ideas on human mind and the complex and powerful cognitive abilities of humans, I can click on this topic and then I can see what are the search results where these ideas are present. And then I can jump to the search results uh, that are most relevant. For example, if it's bold, it means it's one of the most relevant search results for this topic. And if I click here, uh, then I can click on the search result and open it in a, on a separate page to explore this aspect of artificial intelligence further, the aspect of human mind. So this is how it works. Give it a try. Uh, if you don't have an account in Infranodus, you can open one and then contact us to get this Chrome extension so that you can better test it with us and give us your feedback. And also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments to this video and subscribe to this channel so you can get informed about new videos as they come out. They don't come out too often, so it's probably only once a week. Thank you.